Talk to me first of all about, um, you know, the uptake that you expect. I mean, everyone wants, I'm sure, uh, results for a COVID test in 10 minutes, but probably not many people want to prick their finger on a daily basis. So thanks for the time. Digitally enabled rapid testing is the solution that we need, and that's what PocDoc provides. So we provide everything that an employer would need to test their workforce. We provide the test, which has results in 10 minutes, as you said. We provide the staffing and the logistics to come in and do everything that you would need. And we provide the technology to capture the data and provide a dashboard back. Um, in terms of you know, whether people want to prick their finger or not, we've tested this through pilots thousands and thousands of times. And genuinely, that is not an, that is not an issue. Imagine if you had to write down results from testing 100 people on a bit of paper. That's impossible. But our PogDoc solution is really the final key to unlocking rapid testing. So digital, digitally enabled rapid testing really is the only way to solve this issue of getting staff back into the workforce. Good morning to you, Steve. I want to ask you about the way that you see testing fitting in with an ability to mix. So a lot of people talk about testing as if it is a passport to being able to mix, to be able to return to the office, to be able to take a plane, to, to be able to, to go out and, and socialise, perhaps. But the thing with testing is that you have to keep doing it so regularly for it to sort of materially give confidence, do you? So, so is that something that you find is, a, is an issue for, for some potential customers? So we are in discussions, intense discussions with airports and airlines and live events about rolling out our pop stock testing solution across all of those to enable people to keep traveling, to reduce the quarantine period and help get fans back into events. We believe that our solution is affordable. So from 10 pounds, from 10 pounds per test, it is available now. We have hundreds of thousands of tests that are literally ready to go out right now. And it's accurate that over 98%, which puts it at the very top end of accuracy um, in the world of tests. So we are ready today to roll this out in workplaces, and we recommend regular testing. And is by providing this all-in solution, so it's the test itself is not enough. You need the test, you need the staffing and logistics, and you need the technology platform to capture the data and provide it back to the employer in a, in a valuable, easily visualized way. And that is what PopDoc does as of today. It seems like to me, Steve, that uh, that airports would be the killer app for this. I mean, I'm trying to get my parents uh, in for a visit from Ohio to Berlin. It's incredibly complicated. They might need to take a test there and then also take a test here. Quarantining would be necessary. But if they could just show up at the airport and take a test at the gate, wouldn't that make everything um, so much more so much simpler? Absolutely. It takes 10 minutes to order a coffee at Starbucks. It's the same length of time to get yourself tested with our test, get the results immediately. And those, those results, by the way, collected by the digital and the platform, same price, basically. Could, be could be immediately uploaded into the airline systems or the airport systems to track that automatically. Mm, I suppose some people argue, though, that because of the way that the, the, the virus lays dormant, if that's the right word, you are not then free to just mix just because you get one, posit one, uh, one, one uh, a good test. But what about scale and capacity then here, Steve? You say that you're ready to go, but, but how ready? Yep. How, many res how many people do you have on standby? So we have hundreds of thousands of tests that can be rolled out as of today. We're scaling up across the UK, and then from then on we have... Um, I used to live in Germany. I have a lot of experience in Germany, and Germany is an extremely... Um, attractive market, so that is next on the agenda. And after that, we can roll out across Europe very easily because the test itself has um, approval for use across across Europe. So we are scaling as quickly as we can. And all that employers need to do is to go to mypocdoc.co.uk and register, and we will call them straight back, and we can come to their place of work as of today. Steve, it seems like the Chinese and, and other Asian countries have taken care of this pandemic brilliantly because they don't need to worry about um, data privacy. Here in the West, of course, everyone is concerned or at least makes a lot of noise about um, data privacy, especially concerning health. Is that an issue that you've had to deal with as well? 
Yes, and we've solved it in a, in a unique way. So instead of requiring individuals to register with an account and provide contact information and sensitive information like that, we've created a unique encrypted QR code system. So when anyone comes through the system to be tested, they're issued with a unique QR code, which creates a unique user record for that person anonymously. Um, and that's how we solve the data privacy issue. But it, but it sits on an HR system, so, so they can still identify so, you, I, I suppose. Exa exactly. So we work on the, on the back end. We have um, our cloud systems that can integrate with HR systems, can integrate with authorities and the um, and yes. companies to ensure they get that data. But on the ground, our testing staff are trained to provide direct diagnoses to people who test positive with a, a triage path, with recommendations about what they do, so that those people can be dealt with immediately and either um, you know, isolate or, or, or other measures. Um, so we, we do both, basically.